and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go through with you guys all the new products I've recently bought and new releases that have just come into store and we're going to give them a go and see what they turn out like and yeah without further ado let's just get started. Yes, I'm going to be vibing in my Beauty and the Beast onesie because I'm that lazy. Oh, thanks, love you. That's my mum. Just ordering my brother's birthday present for next week. Anyway, the first thing I got free, if you spend over £9 on Elf, you get a free primer. This is their eyeshadow primer. I haven't even opened this. So let's give this a go and just excuse my hands because I've tanned. Um, we've been loving a bit of tan at the moment. I literally cannot open this type of packaging. It's just... It is the worst thing for me to open. So bear with me while I go and open this so we can actually give it a go. Believe these are three pound. I believe it's also transparent, so it doesn't matter what your skin tone is. I'm just gonna pop this on my lids. It literally is really fine. It feels a bit like an actual like face primer. I've done my brows. Didn't get any new products for brows because we don't need them. And when I do, I basically just get the Revolution Pomade as per i don't know how much this stuff you're actually meant to use so i'm just gonna like blend it in my finger it feels really really silky like an actual face primer it reminds me a bit of the poor professional how it feels it's made my lids a little bit lighter but i'm just gonna blend that in it feels really nice though i'm just hoping it makes my eyeshadow look super nice otherwise i'm gonna be quite gutted with elf it's super silky, I kind of like the feel of that. The next thing we're going in with is one of the ELF's mini eyeshadow palettes. Um, they are adorable. This is the pumpkin one, so it's sort of just sort of... Sort of just sort of... That made no sense, but neutral brown colours. I'm going to start with this light sort of pumpkin colour at the end. I went for this one. I want to get the mauvey pink one, but I feel like because they're so like pale that it wouldn't really come out. So I'm just going to give this a go. Um, I'm using my usual makeup brush, like my favourite eyeshadow blending one, so hopefully this will help. It's a really pigmented eyeshadow palette, I did try it briefly yesterday, but like, I mean, it's very difficult to blend, I've got to say, like, I'm not going to put a lot on obviously because we'd be staying indoors and being lazy, but it's quite hard to blend out, I don't know if it's because of the primer or it's just... An awkward eyeshadow. I've never tried e.l.f. eyeshadows before, so this is all a bit new to me. I'm going to go in with this darker brown shade here and give this a go because it's blended out nicely now and it's a really nice natural colour. Like, if you're just going to use this for, like, work on a day-to-day -day basis or if your school lets you get away with eyeshadow when you go back to school or college, then, I mean, this these palettes are perfect for you. They have a blue, a green... Um, a sort of pale pink toned one. They have a creamy one as well, which is a little bit lighter than this But it's still like obviously brown tones, but I've got to say this is definitely my favorite I want to get the pink one like I said Maybe the green one, but I obviously have green eyes. So it's kind of awkward to wear green eyeshadow as well, so We will have to think about that and I don't wear blue so I'm gonna go into this copper shimmer and give it a go again. I did try it a bit yesterday and my girlfriend said like, oh, you look so nice, so natural. Like you really suit just a natural bit of eyeshadow. And she was literally loving this look that I created yesterday. And she was like, you just look how we met, like when we first met kind of thing. And it was really cute. And yeah, she, she rated this look. So it's pretty neutral. I'm not gonna cut my crease or anything for you guys, so anyone out there who isn't either a fan of cut creases or just doesn't do them in general like you know it's not a bit of you then this is kind of a nice way to do it i'm gonna like blend it up a bit and the cat's just being a knob so ignore him but so far this is a really nice look and these are only three pound which is great Okay, TikTok made me buy it. The Revolution Pro Blur Stick. This is a universal face primer. It is huge, like massive. Um, bear with me, I don't know what the cat's got. Oh, you can't eat that, Hans. You can't have that. He's trying to eat plastic that he's found. Okay, I'm back. That was probably really bad angling. I'm literally gonna pop this all over my face. Um, I'm looking in the mirror ahead of me. It is meant to blur your skin. You can actually wear this without foundation. It is very effective. I've definitely noticed the difference when I put my foundation on. And it's great for quite a lot of skin types. I have like normal skin now. It used to be a lot more dry. But it's definitely made a difference. And this has definitely like blurred my skin a lot. I tried it on the back of my hand and I can see the difference on my pores. And yeah, this was £5 because they're discontinuing it. So get it while you can, lads. I had to hunt for this 
in a super drug that was a little bit further away from me, but I've got to say that was definitely worth the buy. TikTok also made me buy this. Everyone was going crazy for this about like a few weeks ago. The L'Oreal Infallible. I got mine in 140 beige because as you can see, I'm very tan. I don't know why I get this weird line on my neck. Has anyone got any advice to like get rid of that? Because it's kind of annoying. Mine is a very um, yellow undertoned foundation because I have pink toned skin, which I don't know if you can tell on camera or not. It's a buildable coverage, this one. And remember to drag it down your neck if you're like me and you tan. It's a buildable coverage, you could either have medium or full, but it's definitely like a new foundation that I'm glad I tried, because I was either gonna buy this or another Maybelline one, because I used the Maybelline Superstay or the Revolution Conceal and Define, and I just wanted to open my options a little bit more because I don't really open my options for foundation when I probably should, like I used to all the time, and then I don't know why I stopped, I'm just gonna add a bit more on my chin because I wanna drag it down my neck a bit. But I literally am loving this foundation. I don't know why I haven't tried it so much because it's such a nice dewy finish. So I've done like this half of my face. I'm now doing the other half. But the coverage, I just wanted to show you guys the difference. It is great. I literally love it. I feel like I'm going to need a bit more than this. But the yellow tones have definitely outtoned my red tones, which is great. And I forgot to say they do also do pink tone ones for those who have yellow toned skin. Concealer isn't new, but we're going back in with an old but gold one, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is a dupe for the NARS Creamy Concealer, which I have also used and loved. But, um... I bought it back because one, my skin tone is obviously a different colour, so I don't want to use my C2 because the Revolution concealers, when you get them pale, dude, they are pale. But so far, this has brightened my eyes a little bit. I just wanted to add a little bit of concealer because this coverage isn't as full as like the Maybelline Superstay or anything. But it's definitely still a full coverage and I'm absolutely loving this. Another powder is new but it's old, like it's not a brand new release product. But this is the MUA Pro Base Full Coverage Matte Press Powder in 130 because obviously when I'm changing my foundation up a bit, I thought I'd change my powder up and when I first started tanning, I didn't want to spend loads on like a foundation and that because um, obviously I'm not going to tan all the time because you know we have our lazy days and lazy times but this foundation and powder together is such an amazing coverage like this was two pound fifty or two pound and honestly i think MUA are so underrated i also used to have this bronzer which was two pound this is the MUA bronze in solar um i used to have it and i don't know what happened to it but i love this bronzer it's great and obviously i don't contour really i do add my normal revolution one over the top of this because it's very pale and i couldn't find any other bronzers in that shade i am going to do if you'd like to, me to do it a full face of MUA makeup i would love to because i have some of their eyeshadows i have obviously their foundations i think i also have their mascaras and their highlights i hype up way too much than i should so we be vibing with this so i'm just going to pop this on I'm going to try a different highlighter today, guys, as well. I'll, I'll let you guys know in a second. But I literally love this so much. I can't get enough. If I run out of this, I'm going to cry because it was a free gift. My cat has serious crackhead energy. Anyway, I've just curled my lashes. We have a new mascara. This is one of the top ones in the UK at the moment. It is on Starbuy for $7.99 in Superdrug. And I swear to God, I can see why my girls hype this because it is amazing. Like, I don't hype mascaras very often. There's only two or three I like. But this Maybelline Lash Lift, like, whoo. It blew me away. I was shook when I tried this out yesterday. Looks like this. Um, it sells so well and I actually can't get enough. Order it while it's on offer because I tell you now, I have such short eyelashes. They're thick and short, which is unfortunate. Um, hence why I wear false lashes 90% of the time. But lately I've just been doing quite a natural look with a little bit of pale pink eyeshadow. And like obviously like my normal face base and stuff like oh my god I am loving this mascara it is so good I've never hands down this is the best mascara I'm not even lying to you guys that I've ever tried Maybelline be doing bits I used to love the lash sensational but that's super clumpy this one isn't clumpy it isn't drying like it doesn't dry out easily the wand is nice it doesn't like go on your upper lid and the length it gives you as well as volume is amazing. I can't fault it enough. This mascara has actually given me the confidence to go out without lashes and feel comfortable with my own lashes. 
and I absolutely love it. Like I seriously have got length on my lashes and I'm so happy with it. I just can't fault it enough. So I'm gonna pop that back. We're gonna be setting my face. I'm not gonna put blush on today because I'm just not feeling blush today. So I've set my face. We're gonna try a new highlighter. So bear with me while I go grab it. So you guys know I love the Loose Diamond Highlighter in Ice Diamond by Revolution. I also have Rose Quartz, which is a little bit darker. Uh, my skin was too pale beforehand to try it. So now I've got some tan on. We give it, we're gonna give it a go. So it's sort of a rose goldy pink color. It's so nice. It's got more gold in it than pink. Um, I'm gonna pop this up here so I don't like spill it. Let's give this a go. Oh my god, it's such a nice glow. I wonder if it's as pigmented as the ice diamond because that is like insane. But I don't know if that's because that's white, it's more pigmented, or I don't know. Oh, I am liking this, it is really nice. It definitely goes with my skin tone more now, 100%. So if you're more tanned, I'd go for this one. I'm just gonna try and get a bit more out. There we are because I'm gonna pop some on my nose and obviously I need to get my brush and do my inner corner and stuff because otherwise we're just not gonna be glowing but this highlight is really popping. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. Like I love the Ice Diamond one so I wasn't expecting any less from this to be honest. I was just like, mm, will it show up as icy as obviously the one I normally use and yeah, it's definitely showed up a lot more. This highlighter is such a nice glow. I've also bought this, which I'm not going to try to say, but I will swatch with you guys. The e.l.f. Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. I got mine in Disco Queen because it's a very white glitter, and you guys know I love using white glitter when it comes to cut creases. Um, these are £5. They're very tiny. They sort of remind me of the Stila eyeshadow, like liquid eyeshadows. Oh, it's gorgeous. You'll probably see this better on my hand now because I'm tanned. Oh, it's lovely. Oh my god, can you guys see this? It is so nice, like, it's such a nice white tone. I love that. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be using that a lot. I'm glad I bought that one. Um, I did get a new lip product, but it's not gonna go with this very well, but I will show you guys if I can find it. Bear with me. So Elf have bought a whole new range of lip products out, whether it's satin, matte, or gloss. I picked up their lip lacquer in bubbles. Um, this is a glittery lip gloss, as you can see. These retail for three pound, which is really great. They smell nice as well. Oh, it actually kind of does go. This is a very dewy look I've kind of come out with here. No, I like this. I actually thought like, if I work my foundation lips off, it'd look really nice. But I'm feeling this look. We'd be vibing in our onesies because it's isolation lockdown and I'm off work today because I was sick the other night, not what I wanted. So I'm just kind of trying to rest, but thought I'd try and make myself productive. All these products I rate an eight out of 10 and above. So if you like these, go buy them, especially while they're on offer. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe because we have a massive giveaway at 2K. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.